Hey guys, Craig here back with another video for GeekTech.ie and today we're taking a look at the PlayStation 4's operating system, its firmware, dashboard, um, whatever you want to call it, pretty much the software it uses to run. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at um, its layout, how it looks, how it works and the features that it has to offer. Um, okay, so I'm starting to review this part of the video right here. Um, just to show you, the first thing you see when you turn it on, well actually the first thing you see is to press the PS button, but if it's already on, if your joypad's already on, it'll just show you this, which is your login. Pretty much you pick the username you want to use. Um, so it's going to pick in mine, <coughs> and it's just going to jump in. And it's the first thing you see is the what's new uh, section. It's pretty much kind of like, um, kind of like a blog page for Sony's latest information, um, also your friends' information anything that they've posted, advertisements, uh, discounts, stuff available on the PlayStation Store um, and stuff like that. It's pretty much just kind of like a blog of your latest things, your friends latest things and Sony's latest news and um, that's available straight off the bat as you can see that's the first thing you see. Um, so the entire um, operating system is pretty much kind of like an evolution of the PlayStation 3's operating system and it features the same kind of XMB kind of menu system where you can scroll left and right um, but this is a kind of a two tier system where up here you have pretty much static stuff this never changes PlayStation store notifications friends messages party profile trophy settings and then power and um, we're going to get into them in a minute but the first thing I want to show you is these these are pretty much the last things that you've run um, and these are all the games that I'm uh, kind of doing videos on so I'm just going to show you here when you go into a game a title kind of breaks down information that's available and it's kind of a title page it shows um, recent players and um, news on it, trophies that you've got with the game pretty much you know the type of information that you expect uh, to see it even also shows in the top right there you can see the size of the game and um, so you can just click start it'll jump straight in the game the disc is in at the moment so that's the way that one works and um, then you can go down here you can click recent activities again kind of like a, a blog sphere kind of, of information about this particular game and maybe your friends who have also played the game and stuff um, and then related items <coughs> pretty much add-ons, DLC, stuff like that that's available for that's pretty much title page that's available for any, any game that you happen to have uh, installed or recently played including demos or games that you've even bought on PSN Network and um, as you can see it's the same with all of them <coughs> um, so that's pretty much what you'll see there for games um, on this kind of the first tier, the bottom tier I guess you would call this and you can move down you've got other things that are available apps that are installed and um, here we've got the browser tv and video and um, this will have the few apps that you know are based on this category and um, music live and playstation and then library and um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to jump back up to the first tier this is the top tier and um, we're going to start with the playstation store because this is a big emphasis on you know the whole next gen digital availability and um, so what you can see here is that the layout of this is actually extremely nice looking and it's very easy to navigate you have pretty much what you would um, mostly jump to games music apps they're all there any apps that you want to download install they're all already uh, right there and um, so like if you want to redeem codes it's all great because they have it all on here on the left and the content here on the right so you can always get to um, get to wherever you need to pretty quickly here and I, I must say I like I love the look of the uh, PlayStation Store and again it's kind of an evolution of the PlayStation Store and the PlayStation 3 as well so they're pretty much they want you to feel at home with the upgrade and you know but they, they kind of make it, little, make it look a little bit more flashy than it was before and um, so that's pretty much the PlayStation Store and um, cool thing with this is again with the whole next gen uh, Microsoft are doing the same thing games are going to be available day one online so you can buy them straight away you don't need you don't need to wait you know for them to be online Although again, the price is probably going to be higher than what you would expect for discs because of the whole more retails being able to compete with each other. Um, so prices are going to probably be cheaper for disc-based games rather than the online counterparts, which you would hope would be different. But again, it's nice to see the games will be available on day one. <coughs> That's pretty much the PlayStation Store there. Um, there will be screenshots and stuff available on the full review on the site with the link below if you want to get a better look at it. Um, okay so notifications here um i do again i have screenshots to show you um a list of downloads that i was doing i'm actually just after updating to 1.6 uh there just recently and a few games are being updated as you can see actually a few of them are still here 
um, you can see Assassin's Creed update is downloading. And this is pretty much automatic. Anytime an update for a game is, is needed, it automatically gets pushed to the PlayStation 4 and it starts downloading immediately. You don't need to wait for this to be in. You don't need to wait to go play the game before it realizes that there's actually an update ready for that game. It just starts downloading it as soon as there is one. And you can pause it, cancel it, do whatever you want um, to it <coughs> beforehand. Um, but this is pretty much it here. Um, I do like how quick it is and how um, nice it is to get to. It tells you the size of it and how much time is remaining. Um, uploads and that's if you're recording gameplay or uploading any other content like that. Um, game alerts, I have no pr <coughs> pretty much no notifications there. But again, this is always available right here at the top tier. Um, level and um, it doesn't change it's pretty stat static um, no matter what uh, friends list um, pr you know pretty straightforward and um, I only have one friend on this profile um, as you can see here and um, it basically details their profile how many trophies they have uh, recent activities introductions stuff like that and um, so I'm gonna scroll down here and um, you can go friends request names player block um, Okay, so the big t difference here with uh, the friends thing is that Sony are pushing um, Actual names now. I don't have a request on this one But normally what will happen here where it says Carl D there It'll actually display the person's actual name as you can see send name request It's kind of like a different level of friendship rather than just you know You can see their their username you can actually also see more content and their actual name as well and um, so that's pretty much it there again there'll be more screenshots and stuff available this pretty much just a quick run through and just you know to give you kind of an idea of the features and the layout and uh, messages party and um, can't really show that uh, profile I'll jump into this <laughs> as you can see pretty much basic layout here and um, same as their friends but this is obviously my profile here for this uh, review and um, as you can see um, displays your trophies <laughs> Sorry if I keep sniffing, I have a cold at the moment. Um yeah, so it's a it's a nice it's a nice layout, it's extremely snappy, the entire operating system seems extremely smooth. I haven't noticed any lag or any any issues like that. It's like you see how quick it jumps forward and back. It's like that throughout pretty much every aspect of it, including games, believe it or not. Um so there we have trophies. Um I'm gonna jump into settings here just to give you a quick run through this. Um it's pretty much like you get the same essence as the PlayStation 3's um, look. The font, I think, is the same. Like it, it's it's similar. It is definitely an evolution of it, and it's. I think they're taking advantage of the extra hardware, and everything just seems perfectly smooth, and it's nicely laid I do. I really do love the the layout of this. You know, it's not too in your face. It's very nice looking. It's flashy enough, but it's also at the same time it's subtle. You know, like they have a nice moving background in the background, like nice uh, images, uh, video in the background there, and it does. I, I definitely think it looks great. Um, and again, I'm just going to jump into a game here just to give you a quick demo of it running, kind of just a quick idea of how quick um, the operating system can jump back and forth um, between the game and but the operating system itself. Let's get that game a second there to jump up there. And games do pretty much start about a few minutes after you start installing them, or if you're downloading them, they do start really quickly. So as you can see here, we're in the game here. Um, <coughs> so if I hit the PS button, pretty much straight back to the dashboard or the operating system, whatever you want to call it, um, the menu, and you can just run through it again. Um, the great thing is that if you do try to start another game, it'll tell you that the previous thing that you're running kind of like it's a con the confliction they can't run at the same time so it'll end it so you can say no and um, kind of a feature that's definitely missing on the xbox and um, whereas you would just run a game and it would just end the other one without any warning which is pretty bad especially if you accidentally clicked on it and you didn't mean to um, but yeah i can jump straight back into the game by clicking on it or just pressing the ps button wherever i am and then pressing x um so yeah it's pretty nice it's extremely fast fluid i love the layout of the the playstation 4's os it's definitely um, a step up compared to the PS3. They definitely did a lot of uh, great things here um, with how well it works. Um, it's like, and uh, pretty much, I love the titles and stuff like that, how much it displays information on specific games and the recent games, and definitely the, the size of them as well. Um, as you can see here, quick overview. Um, and you can just scroll down and you can see more information and stuff. I, I, I definitely love the, the look of it. It gives developers kind of. Um, you know quick access to your actual home page rather than you have to click into a game and then go through menus and stuff it's right there pretty much on the home page as soon as you click on the game 
Um, so if there's anything that they're pushing for a game, any discounts, any advertising, like any anything special about the game that you didn't already know about, it's right there and it's 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 good to have it. Um, yeah, one. Uh, tch, 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 yeah, I'm gonna jump down here. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the entire layout. Like it's 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 very subtle, but at the same time it works really well. It's very you know it's very elegant. It's it's definitely. Um, it's easy to get used to. It's not complicated in any way, um, and it, it it works. You know that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just gonna hit close here on this to show that. That's it closed. Um, <coughs> so yeah, it's definitely um, one of the nicer aspects of the the console, and definitely check out the full review on the site. You get a much better idea of all the uh, features, and that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching.